Welcome back guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this is the Ford Bronco 2022. So one of the most anticipated uh, launch in this year, Ford Bronco. It's absolutely stunner in terms of the looks, uh, the performance it has to offer. So Ford Bronco, this is the sixth generation of the Ford Bronco and it was first launched in the year 1966. So and it has been a great legacy for Ford. And uh, this car is a very off-road centric car. It's mainly targeted for the off-roading enthusiast and it's a, uh, regarding the price, well, uh, there are uh, many different variants are available in this uh, UE region, uh, starting from the uh, big bends, uh, the base variant, it's, called, it's uh, starting from 188,000 dirhams and the top end variant is going up to 292,000 dirhams, so it's called the Badlands and today our test car is the uh, wild track, it's uh, priced at uh, 282,000 dirhams. Hey guys, you're watching MHV Auto Vlogs. If you end up liking our video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And hit on the bell icon and be a part of our notification squad. So, uh, most importantly, the key rival for the uh, Ford Bronco is the Jeep, uh, Jeep Wrangler. So, how does it stack up against this? We will check out in this review and uh, we'll check out its interior and take a short test drive. So, starting from the design for the Ford Bronco, it looks very muscular, it's very rugged. In, from the front, it's like it's very simple and nice. This is a rounded uh, LED headlamps with uh, this uh, DRLs uh, looks very nice, and it's a metal finish uh, uh, bumper in the front looks very gives very uh, uh, macho look. And here we are having this uh, tow tow hooks is available and is a metal plate down the line, and it's having a great ground clearance. It's a so it's a great off road centric centric car. So. This uh, ground clearance, everything is really phenomenal. And yeah, we are, we are having a big, uh, uh, big bonnet and uh, under the hood, it's having a 2.7 liter uh, turbocharged engine. Uh, it's an EcoBoost engine inside it. And uh, there's a wild track on the front, gives a very nice look. And in the front, this is the antenna for, uh, gives another very good look here. And most importantly, thing is, this is the, for the tying and all. Uh, in the front is kind of fenders here. Side profile of the Ford Bronco, it looks very muscular and uh, you can see how beefy this car is. And the most attractive part, this uh, uh, matte black finish fenders looks give a very appealing look on both the sides. And these are 15 inch alloy wheels which is re really nice and it's, a, it's having a 35 inch uh, off-roading tires so it gives very uh, rugged look. And regarding this, uh, we are having big uh, uh, side mirrors with uh, uh, blind spot monitoring uh, system is available and uh, here the keyless entry is also available in this car and uh, the, this is a running board so gives easy access whenever you just want to climb in this car so it's really uh, super super duper convenient and uh, this all the rooftop is removable you can uh, remove the rooftop and all and the door, doors are also removable so you can remove as per your convenience whenever you're going for train, terrains and all. So it's really nice and this is the wild track uh, decals all around the cars gives a very appealing look. So and uh, regarding the dimensions of the Ford Bronco, it's um, uh, the length is uh, 4.92 meters and the width is uh, 1.8 meters. It's a really wide car uh, and uh, the height is uh, 1.8 meters and the wheelbase is uh, 2.92 meters. Dimensions wise, it's really uh, good. So, talking about the rear, uh, rear profile of the Ford Bronco, again, uh, the, this uh, squ uh, squared shape uh, tail lamps gives very um, ap uh, appealing look. It's uh, really good. And this is the spare tire, it's the same same size uh, spare tire it has given, which it's, it's really good. And there is a uh, camera over here, uh, underneath here. So, again, it's really good. And uh, here, we are having this uh, Bronco logo over here. So hardly you can see any Ford branding here. There's only here I can see one Ford branding. And we are having this uh, uh, tying hooks down the line and uh, we are having this generator generator over here, here to lighting up your camps and also whenever we are going off roads and all you can light up your camps. For, we are also having the generator over here. And uh, for the tailgate we are having again keyless uh, access so you can see and the size of the uh, boot, boot is uh, 39.6 uh, 39 uh, 
cubic meters it's really good and 640 speed is also available so it's uh, space wise it's really phenomenal car and everything is really good so inside the boot uh, there is 12 volt socket and lots of tying hooks is available and this is very good quality uh, this uh, mat, mat is available and there are hidden storage as well, is also available for the tools everything uh, you can put lot of things over here And especially for the off-roading purpose, uh, they opted for all plastics uh, around the dashboard because uh, it's very easy to clean also whenever you go for a off-road terrain, it is very easy to clean and the seats are very well cushioned and very well padded, super comfy and here talking about the spaces uh, all around the cabin is really phenomenal, we are having space over here, there is a wireless charging uh, camera, uh, wireless charging for, for mobile phone and there are uh, USB type A and uh, type C over here and more importantly for everything they are opted for physical buttons so, so buttons are really good and you can see very easy to touch and everything you can manage over here and the, this uh, main, main most important thing is this uh, uh, this uh, 13 inch uh, infotainment screen that supports Apple CarPlay, Android Auto and it's a multifunctional screen, you can operate many things, uh, many features of the car. And here in the dashboard, you can uh, hold the, uh, some action camera like uh, uh, GoPro and all uh, for your dash camera. You can just, you can put directly. And here also we are having this uh, USB, uh, USB Type-A and Type-C for uh, uh, keeping other equipment like camera and all. So it's really good and more, most importantly, uh, there are a lot of uh, good bits in this car, so especially big, this big door ha handles for passenger, uh, passenger, and uh, for here also there is for driver, and uh, there's a whole lot of uh, things features available. And uh, most of uh, here we are having a compartment here, and uh, this is a glove box over here, and uh, this is a tool kit for uh, uh, removing the doors. Well, uh, this uh, all the doors, all four doors are removable and you can make it like a uh, convertible uh, car and see all the equipment are there and here also it says Bronco so it's really cool and more, uh, regarding this uh, rooftop so this roof, rooftop is also uh, removable and it's very super easy to remove the rooftop just you need to pull this lever then this lever then this lever then it's very really easy to remove and uh, manage this one and uh, for uh, uh, adventure bumpers you can put on more lights so they have given lots of uh, total six auxiliary switches over here whenever you want uh, uh, to put more lights on, on, on the roof uh, as far as the safety is concerned there are a whole lot of airbags we have the side curtain airbags from here and here from the back also we have a side, side curtain airbags dual airbags in the front so, so for main focus on the safety comfort and performance well it's really uh, uh, excels in this uh, parameters and moreover uh, the there is uh, outlets over here you can ch charging outlets in the front and most important thing this screen is really nice uh, uh, this supports uh, navigation also and uh, the reversing camera and uh, there is a parking assist also so the resolution of the uh, screen the touch screen is really nice it works really good and uh, there, are, uh, there is a dual zone climate control for comfort side of things, works really well in this, uh, especially in the UE region. And uh, we are also having the seat heating facilities also available. So, uh, you want to make the seat hot, so you can uh, just press the button, the seat will, uh, ventilated seats are there. And uh, 
moreover do you can also have the seat heating for uh, sorry steering heating function uh, and most important thing yeah, here we are having uh, some buttons over here yes, for the locking differentials uh, for especially for the useful for off roading purpose and we are having the uh, turn assist also available this is track, traction control so quality of the buttons everything is very rock solid and gives a very uh, premium look and uh, most important important thing the it's a extreme off roader and here we are having this uh, uh, goat mode it's it's uh, it's uh, the full form for the go goat mode is uh, uh, goat of every ter uh, all terrains so it is a uh, off roading dedicated car so it's uh, all about terrains and all so it's really phenomenal and most important this is a 10 speed uh, automatic gearbox so and here there is a bronco badging over here and this is a uh, flag for America over here, so it reminds you of the, that this car is American. And here, it's it, this is a, a thing that is been uh, the front grill of the Ford Bronco. Looks really nice. And uh, regarding the steering, steering is really nice. It's wrapped in leather, and there is some uh, here also some plastic has been used. So this is the Bronco on the steering itself, and uh, there are lots of uh, functions are available. So we can receive the call. Voice commands are available and you can manage your infotainment controls and the lane keep assist is available sorry uh, lane departure warning is available and uh, the adaptive cruise control you can set away everything and uh, this uh, digital uh, instrument cluster is really nice it's uh, use a tire pressure monitoring system everything it's uh, there and the uh, fuel economy and the readouts are really nice and uh, uh, in the engine temperature everything and the speed, everything, the max speed shows 180 kilometers. So here are the controls for the for our uh, this one for the headlamps and all. And uh, we are having the zone lighting also available, like we have seen in the Ford F-150. They have done uh, also in this car, so it's really phenomenal. And here also you can see door handles, and this uh, door panels are really nice. It's uh, all the, although little bit of leather, but most of the, it, it is plastic, so. It's, uh, again, uh, everything is for the uh, off-roading purpose only. And here it says lift. So whenever you want to remove the doors, you need to remove from here and remove from the light. It's really super easy to remove the doors, especially for uh, your adventure purpose. So space in the back. Well, this is a extremely spacious uh, uh, SUV, and you can see the legroom. The seat is set at maximum position, so there is no issue with regards to the space. And the headroom is really phenomenal, it's uh, very awesome in terms of space and all. And here it says no stepping, so do not, do not step over here. And we don't have second row AC vents, but uh, here are the window controls. So window controls, uh, it's been placed uh, over here because the doors are remo removable. And it's, you can see, the windows can be down from here. And there is a, uh, there is a uh, 230 volts. Uh, uh, socket over here you can uh, charge your laptops your many uh, uh, home equipment also you can manage here and here we have also the USB type A and type C uh, is available and the seat quality everything is really nice and for the rear passenger also there is side curtain airbags and here here and lots of airbags uh, is available so for the uh, main USB main priority is the safety and the seats are extremely comfortable the quality again is very phenomenal and uh, to enhance the cargo space uh, so uh, to enhance the cargo space we have uh, having the 6040 split function is available so just you need to push the lever you can see bang on and it's go all uh, flat you, you, you can store lots of luggage lots of space is available so it's really good in terms of space and all there is no issues let's take this Ford Bronco for a short spin So powering this uh, Ford Bronco is a six cylinder turbocharged 2.7 liter engine which puts out 310 bhp of power and massive 542 newton meter of torque. So in the initial impression the sound I really love the sound it sounds like a V8 but it's a, although it's a V6 so it's a very pow powerful car and the responsiveness is is really nice the Ford cars are always been 
good at the uh, noise reduction, they hardly fit uh, much of a sound. So, uh, 0 to 100, this Ford Bronco does in 6.9 seconds, which is really phenomenal, the size of the car and the bulk. And one thing I downside I, I didn't like about this car is the braking power. The braking power is not so impressive on the harsh braking condition. It does not respond uh, that much good. And moreover, the top speed it can go up to 200 kilometers. And we have with some uh, significant uh, uh, safety features like the blind spot monitoring system, lane departure warning, front collision warning, and the rail cross traffic alert. All those uh, good features are available. So all in all, it's a really good package when you are driving. So off-roading is also a great pleasure. It uh, really does good job in the off-roading and all. Let's do some off-roading with this Ford Bronco. Well, the main target audience for the Ford Bronco is the off-roader enthusiast. It's an absolutely off-roader beast. The 35-inch tires does a fabulous job. And we have done lots of uh, off-roading and terrains with this uh, uh, Ford Bronco. And uh, we didn't even deflate the tires. Well, it does a really great job in terms of off-roading. So it's an absolute uh, off-roading beast. Final verdict on this Ford Bronco. It's a really phenomenal off-roader. It has on on the tarmac. It does a great job. And uh, in terms of uh, it's uh, the way it looks, it's a absolute head turner. It's a very. Uh, I've been testing this car uh, uh, for around three days, so it's a very good attention grabber. So everyone was uh, looking what which car is this and all. So it's a really phenomenal package in terms of everything. The off-roading, the comforts, everything has been well taken care of by Ford. So, hope you like the, enjoy the video. For more details, you can visit the nearest showroom at Eldar Models. Uh, you can and take it as drive. Hope you like the video. Useful, like, share and subscribe. Uh, hit on the bell icon and be a part of our notifications for it.